try not to make everybody cry here tonight. So. I just want to thank everybody for being here and thank you for the crowd. It uh, continues to impress us, the support that continues to build and uh, the work that the guys have put in and, and the crowds that come. And I just want to thank the administration and the students and all the people that uh, made this year so good and continue to build on the foundation of what we're doing here. Uh, I thought that uh, Bentley was, was real good tonight and uh, very committed and very connected to everything that they were doing. Uh, now we've got a couple of new guys that are going to be alums of the program here and, and just so proud of what these guys do and who they are and, and what they do in school. I thought you saw our culture on display down 4-1 and, and Jack Zielinski goes out and doesn't let the guy score on the empty net and, and uh, denies that play. Offensively, for whatever reason, I didn't think we created enough uh, or had a good enough push to, to really threaten them. And defensively, obviously, we, we uh, gave up too many goals in tight. And then special teams, I thought we had a point there, especially early in the third. I think it was 2-1 that uh, if we score and make it 2-2, that's probably a different game. Uh, yeah, Coach, uh, you guys, you mentioned the other night that you've been playing playoff hockey for three weeks now. Does that kind of catch up with you on a weekend like this? Do you guys feel tired or, or do you think that it's not that what's happening? Yeah, I, I, don't, I don't think the guys were tired. I, I, it's, uh, we, we were short and sweet in practice. and uh, it, it's, been, it's been hard. Those have been hard games for sure. But I don't, I don't think it was an energy piece tonight, no. Or this weekend. Uh, to me, it's, it's a game of interest, you know. With an inch, I think, um, it was an and yeah. the shot to skate, you know, an inch away from the one that yeah. had one off the crossbar. But it seemed like you guys were pretty good in the front. It didn't seem like a runaway game. Yeah, no, I, I mean, it was a runaway. It was just, to your point, uh, Gorshak hit the crossbar, it doesn't go in. Uh, Alvin hit the post last night. He hit the post again tonight. He hit the post again tonight. So, yeah, it's, I, I thought those, those plays were kind of indicative of our season. Like, I, I really love our team, and I didn't think we'd be sitting here talking about this right now because there's just so much love and so much magic in that room. But for whatever reason this year, it felt like it was posting out a lot instead of posting in. How do you feel about the great season this year? Yeah, I mean, I'm pumped. I told the guys. Uh, we went around and told stories about each guy. Like it's just impressive that the, what they've what they've done and and um, the seeds they've planted for trees. They're going to grow into the next generation of, of hockey player here. And, and I told the guys it's not it's not about coming to Niagara to play hockey anymore. It's about you have to live up to a standard that's been created here. And it's real obvious if you don't, and it's real obvious if you do. Walker, anything to add to that? Just talk about the season. I mean. Thank you guys for coming and supporting us this season. You know, we really appreciate it. It's a special group in that locker room, so it's going to be tough saying goodbye. Thanks, Well, just chase your dream. Don't let anybody tell you that you can't do something. So that's what be my, my biggest thing. Do you think the senior college senior team? Pardon? Do you think the senior team? Yeah, I will. I'll thank him for you. Do you feel like you'll be better this season? Uh, whew, that's fresh. I, uh, I, I want to, yeah, yeah. We want to be, we want to be better. But I, that, that's, uh, that's based on results. And we talk to the guys all the time about the process. And these guys have started a process. It's really good, and, and we're certainly not satisfied with how it en ended this year. So, yeah, we want to be better next year. But I don't want to take anything away tonight from what this senior group has created here and, and established here. And uh, they just, they've got a special place in my heart. Like my daughter told me she can't imagine coming to a game without seeing some of these guys in a jersey because she's never seen a game without Chris Harper or Jack Selinski wearing purple. Uh, I think that's been a theme throughout the season. It's how close the group has been and how everybody is, you know, really is bonding. What, what did you say to the fans after the game? 
I cried. Uh, and then just, uh, you know, the staff went around and thanked everybody. We just, we just thanked them for who they are as people, most importantly, what they've done as students and uh, who they are as players. Again, we, we didn't think we'd be sitting here having this conversation right now, credit, credit to Bentley, but, uh, but we just told them how much we loved them. And uh, we want to see them go do what Walker just said, don't let anybody hold you back. And I told Jack Zielinski that I want 3% of his gross earnings in his career. Any other questions about Frank? Walker, you had a couple injuries this year and last year. How much did the team help lift you to rehab and come back as strong as you did both times? I mean, any injury to any player on our team, every single guy's lifted them up, whether it's stepping in the lineup in a position they're not comfortable with and excelling. So, you know, coaching staff puts every single guy in a position where they can excel. And, you know, the training staff does everything that they can do. So. Like if you get hurt, you come back better. It's there's really no, there's no other. No more questions? No? All right. Thanks, guys. All right. Thank you.